or some more things about that we are loading in <laughs> channel field this is our game one of the second series best of three between team jejumon and team 515 party but that took a long although that took a long um there's already an action-packed skirmish happening somewhere <laughs> in the mid lane Okay, Sai, it seems like fate has saved Lex from more stories. All right, so it's, yeah. like, it's like Lex Hugh. It's like, let's start this before Kesai says anything else. All right, nonetheless, 515 Party gonna go ahead and leverage the early game here, taking down Renege because of how aggressive he was trying to steal 515's orange. And just like that, Jejumon going to take their own while, hold up, 515 just short of stealing the purple, literally maybe two seconds away. Oh, wow. And, uh, well, they, they secured their buff, fortunately enough, yes. But for the meantime, let's talk about what's happening in the middle side part of the map. Rogues forced to flick her away, but Tira is in here, will take advantage of even trying to kill him out. But that was a quite tanky Kufra in the middle lane. Um, he will not be taken down. Oh wow, did you see the mechanics there? The outplay by Rox! But as I yeah. say that, look at this Renegade fighting for his life against Stephanie. Stephanie got the numbers game on her side. It's a 2v1. Popol and Koopa take down the Masha. Now, uh, this is going to be a reset by both teams, staying relatively to their own safe side of the map once more. And Kesaya, let's not forget to acknowledge, it is actually the Chang'e on Lex, Lex, Lex. Lex. Man. Rocks, he is actually a carry type of player in in the other games that he played for. But now he's actually playing as tank, and he's not, he's not just playing tag as it is, but he is showcasing a good decision making in terms of playing his role. And let's see how. However, we we have yet to see how that can last because it seems like a team fight is about to set to be set here in the top side. They're trying to chase L, and yes, L in here will be crowd controlled. He won't be able to back away. And there you go, one kill going to Team Jejumon right now. Seems like they want to punish as well. This Stephanie on the top side, Rocks trying to uh, give a save. I wonder if they will be going for the fight. No, they will not. They oh. will just be dashing away. Yep, and uh, what's interesting here, Kaisaya, is True. it's actually There's Jejumon who's ahead in the farm, but by very little. By very little. So we're still um, quite down the middle when it comes down to the farm. But just like that, they jumped up about a thousand. And this is looking like a free turtle. Jejumon securing this. That's going yes. to go over the Tira. It is definitely a free turtle. Uh, first Blood actually went onto the side of Team 515 Party. Although Team Jejumon got that first tur turtle, I think we cannot say as of yet that they got the lead and the higher potential to win this match. Because, you know, a lot of things can still happen. But on the top side, we can see getting punished was Rene J onto that Masha. Two members having a great amount of damage. Popo and Koopa uh, and Hellcard will be taking that one member out. But for the meantime, Team Jejumon wants to make a comeback by taking down some members on the middle side rocks trying having a hard time oh look at that it's happened again he will be able to dash away this is again Tira trying to chase him out and finally it went oh. on to a success uh, and just like that, I think Team Jejumon have secured their groove. They have figured out what they need to do. And Tira here smells blood. Did you know, Kaisai, that Chang'e's lines say something about Roger coming? Oh, he really? I don't really make yep. it if that you, much. If you, so listen, you, like if you to, listen to Chang'e's voice like lines... Would you like to tell me what it is? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, my, my voice is not high enough or small enough to sound like Chang'o. <laughs> but nonetheless, that was a close one. That was almost art imitating life. Tira though, uh, smart and very disciplined enough to know that he should not chase. Now, look at this. Oh! Nakil with the pull on two rocks. There you go. The Divine Judgment oh, and the free. Fatal Links taking down rocks. That's going to be a free kill for Jejumon as Godzilla Legends rains down the fire. 
the fire though is still incoming in here onto the backside. There goes L going for a kill. Kimmy will do a follow up even by taking down another member on the side of Team Jejumon. Yura is all alone in here, Total waiting in the bush. Soon. Gonna get try to go get yeah, Godzilla. Kill. Legends will be able to make it. Yes, he will. There's a chase. Nope, they will won't be chasing Tira anymore. But instead, that will allow Team Jejumon to secure one more objective for themselves. And at the same time, even taking down the tier one turret on the top side. Yep, and uh, again, Turtle here taken out by Tira. Lex stealing the purple though. How brave is he here? Uh, Renji he though not in any shape to fight. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Oh no, did they get legs? Oh, that was such a sure kill. Did they pop the DJ? Yes, Akil had to use the Divine Judgment there for sure. And wow, Lex, Lex, Lex. I, I wrote this as one of their weaknesses when I was doing a study on their play. But real quick, we'll talk about that later. Nice jump in by Rox. Going in with the Rage as well. But it looks like Tira is able to go for the juggle. And Rox might be paying the price here. He bouncing balls away. A cozy doggy going for the perfect match. Hellkurt with double the Dark Knight falls. That's a double for L. OMG is real. That's going to be Knuckle and Renege biting the dust. And Team 515 going for the rally. It's back and forth, back and forth. But they haven't yet gone for a great conversion here. Kaisaya, they are down one turret. For the kind of Hellcrack play that we're looking for, what we're looking for is what L is doing in here. Just basically waiting for the right time, trying to go for a backline target on the side of Team Jejumon. That's not what we've seen a while ago and, and the kind of place that Mr. V Gaming did uh, when he was in Solid Boy's uh, Series 1 a while ago. But let's talk oh about what is about no! to happen to Godzilla Legends. Getting caught down by four members of Team Jejumon. Definitely he'll fall down. There's no way to escape. This is Team Jejumon creating a space onto the top side so that this L Gaming won't be able to make a push on the top. So that was a good strategy by Team Jejumon oh. going for a different play. And it's an advanced play going towards the top side, not even minding L pushing on the, the onto the top because they know that they can counter his what he's doing just by basically cutting the minion base. Yeah, but again, it might have been too much. Might have been too expensive. But look at this! That's Nakil going down underneath the turret. Might have been too much damage, but Tira jumps in, raining down a few damage. But Lex is going to be the one who oh. is giving them a shower. And L is going to get that kill. That's two for free. Going over to the side of 515 Party. And they continue with the rally, Kaisaya. Back and forth, back and forth. About 2,000 gold ahead is Jejumon. Oh. But nonetheless, it's still sitting at 10 10 with only 10, one third 10, ahead yeah. for Jejumon. Yeah, it is a 10 10. However, OMG L gaming in here. Okay, Rene J won't be that greedy to take him down. And I think it's a wise decision because uh, Popol and Koopa was just nearby to even go for a 2v1 fight. So, yeah, you mentioned a while ago how, how close this match is the turrets, the. The kills as well as even the gold is just sitting at 1k gold in favor of Team Jejumon right now. But maybe in terms of the minion waves and map control, we can say that Team Jejumon that got the position right now. I think they just have to be very careful now on where L Gaming might be going through because he's a good Hellheart player. It's showing in here on how he's positioning himself in the map, getting the oh, right yeah. target. In and now that you mentioned it, you're right. L is playing much like a core, and they have three cores here. Now that you uh, we're, now we're talking about it, it's the Hellcurt, uh, the Akimi, and the Chang O. Oh. And as we saw earlier, Lex 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 went for the purple steel, successfully got it, but nonetheless paid with it, uh, paid for it with his life. And I, w I was gonna say, I noted that earlier that sometimes Lex puts himself in weird situations for the sake of a big play, and I think he just start avoiding that. It, it's just too risky, too dangerous. And it might just lead to Jejumon just snowballing out of control. And now look at this fight waiting to happen up top. Oh, Akosi Doggy trying to fight a target. No, that won't happen. But you know what? One thing in here and on the composition of Team Jejumon, one thing that they have in terms of advantage, the setup that they can pull off. You know, but hold the thought because it seems like a team fight is about to happen again once more. Akosi Doggy in here getting caught up by some slows, but this is a really tanky target. Of course, he will be able to survive. All right, going back to what I was wanting to say a while ago, the, mm -hmm. the setup that Jejumon can pull off, they, they have that Taja and the uh, Atlas combo. 
you know, the divine judgment is in here, and then the, followed up by the fatal links. Basically, you will just basically find yourself ending up on the, the backside of Team Jejemon, eating up a lot of damage. Yep. It's, it's way too much damage. So I think that's what Team 515 Party is doing here. They are essentially a glass cannon. And it's only Rox who's really able to uh, keep people at bay. And maybe even possibly Stephanie, who's doing well. Like, she is, she is not at all in trouble. One, zero, and five. So this Popol and Koopa is putting in the work. But nonetheless, look at this Team Jejumon. So bold. Going for the Lord. Not even going for any pickoffs just yet. And it looks like it's chang -woo. Who is uh, keeping everyone busy? Look at that. MLA? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> MLA? I don't know if, if <laughs> that's how it should sound like or if AH has a meaning in it. But um, meantime, we see that really uncontested Lord Take by Team Jejimon. Really good zone creation by, or space creation by, of course, I think that was the Uranus in. Was that? I think Knucklehead, yeah. And at the mm -hmm. same time, the the balance of minion waves by Rene J coming from the bot side down to the top side. Yep, and now you mentioned bottom lane. We're gonna have that Lord march up. A lot of pressure here on the side of Team 515. Chang U just psyching out rocks. Gonna bouncing ball out of here. And again, I gotta say, Lex, 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 despite being a little salty or sour earlier on. He's actually built quite the arsenal. His kit hurts, especially when he does the meteor shower. Yeah, but we are not seeing... Uh, I mean, I'm not... Yes, there's some damage, but I'm um, personally not yet satisfied in terms of what Team 515 party can pull off in terms of team fight. But Rox came in with a dash in. Bouncing ball is there mm -hmm. as well, but... They will just back away. I mean, they have to wait for maybe one member to go down first on the side of Team Jejumon. Maybe Rene J because Rene J is quite the squishiest so far in their lineup. And I think mm -hmm. L Gaming can try to do that. It's easier said than yeah. done though because both of them got the mobility. Yep, definitely. Oh, and now uh, 12 minutes in, still sitting at 10 and 10. Team Jejumon choking out Team 515 party of their resources. 515 can't even go out of their base now at this point. They Better cannot. yet, even get orange or purple, right? Yeah, they can't. In, in the minds of Team 515 Party during their drafting, it was, in their mind, it's just gonna be a protect the king strategy wherein um, Gazi Legends on that Kimi will be protected by Stephanie and Rox on that Kufra. But apparently, Jejemon broke that strategy out by separating them and the funnel didn't happen the funnel didn't happen and there's nothing for for god's new legends this time they have to wait really really late game time but we're now down into the mid game and even we can even call this late game already because only three turrets left for five on five party oh yeah um i would agree with you because even tira is almost one item away from uh, fully completing his kit. Yeah. I believe that is going to be the Blade of Despair after that Wind Talker. And from there, I'm guessing maybe Immortality uh, or, uh, or or something of the sort. Even maybe um, maybe Queen's Wings or something for, for survivability. But nonetheless, they have yet to go yeah. for the Penetrate. Yeah, again, they, they haven't uh, destroyed the Inhibitor just yet. And I think that's going to be so key. Like if you're able to take down a turret into the base, that means you can just breathe. That means you can leave it be. Hmm, you can see how Team Jejumon not clumping in one place altogether, but Doggy and... Um, who's that? Yeah, it's just Doggy being so down, but hold us off because ML ah, in here, getting caught up in the middle with a shield, you'll be able to dash away, but the members of Team Jejumon right now, t right down, there's no more Roger, and... Oh, oh my shut G, down. it's L Gaming going for a kill, but gonna be shot down by Rene J on that mash -out. There's now just two tanks left on the side of Team Jejmon. Uranus as well as Atlas. Oh, I remember. I, should, I, I shouldn't I should call Lord, Uranus soon. a tank because I saw one yeah. time one of your posts. Post? No, that, that's, on, that on is Facebook. accurate. Yeah. You're right. I'm so sorry. He's not but... a tank. <laughs> I shouldn't say that in front he's... of you, so yeah. 
He's yeah, he's not a tank, but he's tanky, right? Mobile Legends will label yeah. him as a tank. But the only reason why he's working these days in the meta is because he's a great fighter. He has awesome sustainability, reliable damage. And look at this, he's able to make trades uh, on behalf of Team Jejumon, yeah, but he may have bitten off a little more than he could chew. Immortality gonna pop here, courtesy of Rox and the gang. And now he's finally gonna go down. And with that being said, yeah. second lord of the game here, up for grabs. MLA missing, this is chang -u. And then on the other hand, it's Lex. So both very, very important parts of their team comp, missing. There you go, because Doggy just created a really good space for Team Jejumon to take that Lord. And once more, it did go to to Jejumon. They got another chance of making yeah. a push. Yeah. So, oh, but hold on, yeah. on to the top He's side. Able to yeah, L Gaming, though, trying to teleport out, but no confusing energy right now. There's, oh, look at that, this is the battle of burst damage. But then again, of course, Masha needs to back away because Popple and Koopa is right over that side. Uh, Stephanie, that Popple and Koopa that we got there, but yeah, never mind. A lot of confusing stuff mm. happening right now. Sometimes it's just, it feels yeah. like they're also confused on where to go next. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm questioning whether it's cockiness or carelessness, right? Because Team Jejumon, they were off to a great start. And even now still, despite being down 4 kills, they're still up ahead in farm. So that means Tira has all the items he needs. Now I'm wondering why he keeps getting caught out like this. Man, even this, even the next Lord got wasted. It just died and they weren't able to take any other objectives, any turret objectives. If they continuously do that, look at that, getting killed once more, maybe Team 5 on 5 party can even win this game. If, yeah. if they don't take, you know, if they take the Lord and then put it into waste again. Again, it comes down to conversion. Like, the reason why Team 515 Party is up on kills but not on the map is because Jejumon is a little careless and after they respawn, they're able to come back and defend. But right now, it looks like they've had enough. Snowball oh. is, is, is just out of the question now because both teams are oh at, pa my at goodness, parity. Just one 515! They're threatening the finish here. In goes Rocks with the Tyrant's oh Revenge. Goodness. Now, I think they have they're enough firepower, Kisaya. It, it might be it. Game one Whoa. goes to 5 of 5. Oh, 